Hey there everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. Now, today's video is going to be a, a bit different, but before we start, we just hit 1000 subscribers, how cool is that? So make sure to like and subscribe, but today I will be coding one of your ideas. And the latest comment that we have is by Adam. And Adam mentioned that we should create a game where you touch a part and then everything will turn black. How cool is that? So let's go ahead, let's go ahead and do this on Roblox Studio. And as always, you can join the Discord, it's completely for free, and you can ask as many questions as you want over there. Let's go ahead. Now, the first step that we have to do over here, I'm going to add a part. So this will be the button where the player has to press. Let's scale it up a bit. I'm going to make it similar to a red nuke button. Don't forget to anchor this, because if you don't anchor it, it will just move around. This will be made of metal or diamond plate. There we go. Let's duplicate this. Move it all the way up. Oops. Move it all the way up. Turn on the collisions. Back down. And I'll scale this down. And this will be a red neon button. Turn it to red and neon. There we go. Make sure everything is anchored. Once everything is anchored, all that we have to do now, click plus on the part and add a script. Now I'm, I'll explain this first part and you can copy and paste the whole script as well. It will be down in the comments and in the description as well. So we're going to say local part is equal to script. And when we say script, it just refers to the script over here, dot parent. The parent is always the one above it. Think of a folder. Anything that you have inside the folder is the child, but the folder is the parent. So whatever you put inside is the child, and then the whole folder would be the parent. So the one above it is the parent. So whenever I call a part, I'm referring to this part over here. Don't forget the computer does get a bit confused sometimes. Now, I'll be sending you all of the scripts, so you'll have it in the description and in the comments as well. Now we have a function, a function just makes something work. Think of an ice cream shop. If the ice cream shop, the ice cream machine is not functioning, that wouldn't be really that fun. So a function makes something work. That's all it does. And in this case, what we're going to do, as soon as the play touches it, we're going to change the lighting and the brightness, everything will be black. That's why it's zero, zero, zero. When you have three zeros, that's black. This is RGB, red, green, and blue. All of them are zero, that will be black. The base part, everything will turn black. So let's go ahead, let's give this a try, let's see it work. As soon as I touch it, <laughs> oh, even my player turns black, that's quite cool. All of the buildings, everything did turn black, in fact. Now, as you can see, the land or the water doesn't turn black, because those are not parts, we cannot turn them black. There they are. Everything turns black other than that. That's quite cool. So thank you Adam for your comment. If you have any other ideas, write them down in the comments below. I'll definitely go ahead and make these work as well. See you all in the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for viewing.